another quick overview today of the new Roland Phantom 8. I'm gonna give you a first time look for me anyways because I've never used a Roland workstation. I've used Korg and I've also used Yamaha. So the sequencer setup and the record function and the step record function is completely brand new for me. So I'm gonna show you guys first look when I'm getting my first look and later videos we'll go more in depth into the recording process with this workstation and also start making some tracks start making some music with it so if there's anything you want me to take a look at if any functions or sounds you want to know about with this keyboard just leave a comment subscribe and we'll get back to you try to put up a video answer some of your questions so we can both learn about the keyboard together all right, let's get into the recording function of the keyboard. First, push the little red button here, record. You hear that click track come on, starts ticking away. Let's get a closer look at the screen. All right, you get the selections of which track you wanna choose and also the destination. Every track has a certain amount of groups excuse me, patterns that you can change and also groups. You can also change and see which instrument you like to use right up here. You can also push along with using the directional button. So let's go to track one. You get to choose which piano sound you want up. And also right here where it says A piano, you can go in and choose different See the groupings here, orchestral, solo. Is it okay? So you can have different sub patterns. Let's say you want a certain pattern to play on the intro, a certain pattern to play in the verse, chorus, pre-chorus. You can make all these different types of patterns and this is called a group. All the different patterns on a specific track are called a group. So you also have right here, pattern utility, pattern mute, solo, grouping, group, pattern utility. It shows you can copy, you can delete through to the different patterns. You can hit mixer and you can actually mix, mute your chorus, reverb, the basic stuff. You can get into the MFX right here from the screen and you can do pan and the levels and which zone you have some more effect selections over here let's go back to mixer import a pattern see right from your drive you can export also like i said again record delete so we're going to do track one pattern a Right here is a counted, meaning do you want one measure counted or two, one measure of four, two measures of four, or do you want to wait until you get a note played on the keyboard, then the keyboard starts recording. I'm gonna choose wait note. You have a choice here with three, four. One, two, four, four, four. Looks like those are two main time signatures you have. Input quantize. Let's see what options they have here. You can do grid. You can do shuffle. Let's do shuffle and see what option they have. Shuffle resolution 116th, 18th. And you can do a rate of 57%. Let's leave it right there. Exit. You can have you click on or you can have you click off. Turn it back on. You can change your tempo right here with this dial. You can have the length of the bar. Each 
pattern on a track can be up to 32 measures long. So let's just have the usual four measures here. Now this button option right here is mix or new. We're going to do new, it doesn't really matter because there's nothing on the track. So let's set up something to record right now. 